All right, our water is at a full boil. Turn my heat down a little bit. And I'm just doing this in small batches uh, because I only have four okra plants and they tend to produce one pod a day. Um, and it doesn't hold super well in the fridge for long periods of time. And so I tend to wait until I have six or seven and then I blanch it or make something from it. Um, so I'm not getting a lot of okra every day, um, which is fine. Um, it's fairly new to me and so it's not like it's a staple. Um, all right, we're gonna give that a quick stir. And we're just gonna set a timer here for three minutes and we'll come back. All right, our timer is going off. And you can see just by looking at that, look at how much of that um, mucilage has been released from these. Um, it's actually really kind of cool. Um, the good thing about this, if you can get past it, if it doesn't freak you out completely, is that it's actually really, really good for your gut bacteria. So um, okra is super healthy. Can you see, look at how viscous that is. Um, yeah. This is what they mean by the snot factor. <laughs> I think it's just amazing. Um, so we blanched that for three minutes. I'm gonna really quickly rinse it with cold water just to get the worst of that boiling heat off of there. And then we're gonna throw it into ice water to completely stop the cooking. And again, like even now, can you see that? <laughs> the one thing about this is by the time you use it in a recipe, there's gonna be a whole lot less of that mucilage because a lot of it is coming out right now. All right, we're just gonna let that sit for a minute. And then we will throw it on a cookie sheet and throw it in the freezer. It does unfortunately lose that beautiful red color um, when it's been blanched. All right, our okra has been sitting long enough for me to eat a little breakfast. I guess I had a, now that's on. Just gonna get rid of the ice here. another quick drain and you can see second run still very viscous the slime is real my friends embrace the slime all right normally I would just throw stuff on it to a sheet pan um, or use some parchment paper, but I really want this to drain because I think this is gonna be very sticky to get back off the, the grate after freezing if I don't let some of this drain away. And I've done this once before. I'm doing this in small batches, as I mentioned, because I don't have a lot of okra. And so I just do four or five stalks at a time. And then it all just goes and lives in the same bag once it's frozen. All right, we're gonna run that out to the outside garage freezer. Dogs are kind of counting along because they follow me everywhere. I might do something exciting, you never know. I'll just stash those in there for eight hours or so and come back. All right, we're back. It's the next day. This is some of my okra that was from the other day that I froze, so we're just gonna add this. And 
Because this was on a rack and they were pretty wet, there's going to be a little bit of stickage. Notice I'm going in the direction of the smooth as opposed to trying to go this way where I'm going to catch. I'm just going to loosen everything up here. And now we've got ready to go okra for gumbos and other fun meals in the winter. The okri is um, one of the YouTubers that I follow is from the South and he never calls it okra. He always calls it okri. And so it's become kind of a standard in our house to call it okri instead. Um, I'm just going to stash this in my veggie freezer, which is getting pretty full. We've had a good summer. And if I really wanted this to last a long time, I would put this in a like a food saver bag and suck all the air out of there. But we'll use this um, fairly quickly this winter. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Frozen okra. I meant to tell you guys the um, book that I'm using for how long to blanch things if I'm going to freeze them is this one, which is called So Easy to Preserve. It is from the Cooperative Extension out of the University of Georgia, um, which is the home of the National Center for Home Food Preservation. Um, so this is, I think it's $25 right now if you order it direct through them. Um, I think that includes shipping. Um, and it is kind of the Bible for um, preservation um, along with the Ball Blue Books. And so this is a great book. Um, and you can look up you know, any vegetable and freezing. So I just looked up okra and then freezing, 286. And then it gives you okra and how to prep it and how to freeze it and three minutes um, for small pods, five minutes for large pods. And because I was actually um, cutting the pods up, I went with three minutes. So that's how I decided to do that. Great book, highly recommend it.